in diploma cet the questions will be asked in a three different section that is applied science mathematics and main stream the questions of applied science and mathematics are common to all the branch students whereas the main stream section that is part c section the questions will be asked with respect to branches so in this video we'll going to solve the the applied science questions the first question in applied science section is the equation of motion of body for a distance traveled snth in the nth second is given by the right answer is option a that is sn will be equals to u plus a divided by 2 into 2n minus 1 and the next question is a bullet of mass 0.01 kg is fired with a velocity of 960 meter per second from a rifle of mass 3 kg the velocity of recoil of a rifle is the right answer is option 3 that is minus 3.2 meter per second so in this question he has asked at what velocity the rifle will come back or rebounds when it is fired for this one we need to equate the velocity as well as mass of both bullet as well as the rifle so that is m1 into v1 will be equals to m2 v2 where m1 is a mass of in a bullet and v1 is a velocity of in a bullet and m2 is a mass of in a gas and v2 we need to identify that is a velocity of recoil so if you equate that the equation by substituting all the values so you will get v2 as a my 3.2 meter per second so since the velocity means the rifle is coming in the backward direction that is it is rebounding so it is considered as an a minus so your right answer will be minus 3.2 meter per second the next question is one of the following is not a scalar quantity and the right answer is option 3 so the right answer is option 3 so what is scalar quantity the scalar quantity is a physical quantity that has only magnitude example mass electric discharge density speed whereas force has both direction as well as the magnitude so the force cannot be a scalar quantity the next question is if a body fixed about a point rotates in a clockwise direction the moment of force is measured as the right answer is option 2 that is negative the next question is the resultant magnitude of a two forces p and q acting in the same line and in the same direction is the right answer is option 2 that is p plus q so the resultant force will be sum of two forces when they are acting in a same line so the resultant force will be of a p and q acting in a same line in the same direction will be p plus q the next question is the resultant magnitude of an two forces 6 newton and 8 newton acting at a right angles to each others the right answer is option b that is 10 newton so how we got this uh, uh, 10 newton means so the right angles so these forces are acting in a right angle so we have a formula that is a square plus b square is equals to r square so a square is a force 1 that is a 6 newton b square is a force 8 newton and that will be equals to square root or r square so the 6 square will be 36 and 8 square will be 64 if you add that one you will get a 100 that will be equals to r is to square so if you take out a square root so then r will be 10 newton the next question is the value of the resultant magnitude of a two forces acting at a point is maximum when the angle moment of two forces is the right answer is option 1 that will be zero angle when angle moment is zero the two forces acting at a point will be maximum the next question is a rise of liquid in a capillary tube is due to the the right answer is option 3 that is surface tension So what is this surface tension it is a tendency of in a liquid surface to shrink into the minimum surface area okay so that is a surface tension so the rise of liquid in a capillary tube is due to the surface tension the next question is the ratio of volume stress to the volume strain is called 
the right answer is option 1 that is bulk modulus so what is this bulk modulus a bulk modulus is a relative change in the volume of in a body produced by a unit compressive or tensile stress acting uniformly over the surface so that is a general definition of bulk modulus but we can also say that it is a ratio of volume stress to volume strain the next question is the reciprocal of bulk modulus of elasticity and the right answer is option 1 that is compressibility the ratio of bulk modulus of elasticity is the compressibility so what is this compressibility it is a measure of how much the given volume of matter decreases when placed under the pressure so that is a compressibility the next question is the force of cohesion is maximum in the right answer is option one that is solid so in the solids the molecules are tightly packed in a solid when compared to gases or liquids so as a result the cohesive force will be maximum in the solids and the next question is the value of a surface tension that is 80 dyne centimeter what will be its value in newton meter and the right answer is option 3 that is 8 into 10 raised to minus 2 newton per meter the next question is the pressure at the bottom of a container having a base area 10 meter square filled with a water at a height of 10 meter and what is the pressure the right answer is option 1 that is 9.8 into 10 raised to 4 pascal so how we will calculate this 9.81 so we know that pressure is given by rho g into h where rho is a density of a liquid g is a gravitational constant and h is a height of water and in this uh, numerical so water is in a fluid so density will be 1000 and uh, gravitational constant is a fixed one that is 9.81 and height of water is 10 so if you multiply all these three quantities you will get a 998100 pascal so in a reduced form it will be 9.81 into 10 raised to 4 pascal so the pressure at the bottom of container will be 9.81 into 10 raised to 4 pascal the next question is 100 degree celsius when expressed in absolute scale is so the right option is option 4 that is 373 kelvin if we convert that into si units so then it will be so that is degree celsius plus 273 so then it will becomes kelvin so here the 100 degree celsius is given 100 degree plus 273 will give us a 373 kelvin the next question is the gas law which gives a relation between the pressure and the volume change is the right answer is option one so that is Boyle's law so what is this Boyle's law the Boyle's law states that the pressure of a given mass of an ideal gas inversely proportional to the volume at constant temperature so that is a Gauss law so which gives a relation between pressure and the volume the next question is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of a one gram of a water through one degree celsius is the right answer is option three that is calorie so that is a calorific value so calorific value is defined as the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of one gram of a water through a one degree celsius that is known as calorie or calorific value the next question is an example of longitudinal wave is the right answer is option one that is sound waves so what are these the longitudinal waves so the longitudinal waves are the waves in which the displacement of a medium is in the same direction as or the opposite direction to the direction of propagation of a wave so that is a longitudinal wave and the best example for longitudinal wave is a sound waves the next question is the relation between the velocity of a sound v and absolute temperature t is given by the right answer is option 3 that is v is directly proportional to root of t 
द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन अ नोड एंड द नेक्स्ट एंटी नोड इन अ स्टेशनरी वेव इज इक्वल्स टू सो द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन फोर दट इज वन फोर्थ ऑफ अ वेव लेंथ सो वॉट आर दीज नोड नोड इज अ पॉइंट अलॉन्ग अ स्टैंडिंग वेव वेर द वेव इज हैविंग अ मिनिमम एम्पलीट्यूड वेर एज एंटी नोड इज अ पॉइंट वेर द वेव इज हैविंग अ मैक्सिमम एम्पलीट्यूड so the distance between the anti node and node will be 1/4 of an a total wavelength the next question is the damage caused by marching a military columns to the suspension bridge is due to the right answer is option 2 that is resonance so what is this resonance in physics the resonance describes the phenomena of increased amplitude that occurs when the frequency of periodically applied force is equal or close to the natural frequency of a system so that is a resonance